Hello, this is Kenny Moore from TaggedPDF.com, continuing a series of short tutorials intended to help optimize PDF documents for assistive technology and mobile device users by meeting the new PDF accessibility requirements of the 508 Refresh. In this video, we will explore what is possibly the most maddening of all errors encountered when using the excellent free PDF Accessibility Checker Pack 2. And the error is this one. PDF UA Identifier Missing. Category for this error is Metadata and Settings, Metadata, PDF UA Identifier. The failure condition in the Matterhorn Protocol reads, the metadata stream in the catalog dictionary does not include the PDF UA identifier. The video will present this suggestion for resolving this error using Adobe Acrobat Pro. Now, in order for this to work, you need to have the required snippet of metadata that includes the PDF UA identifier in an XMP file. And if you have knowledge, if you're an expert with XML, XMP, you can create the file. But if you're not, feel free to download this one. And here's what it looks like. You can see that unless you're really familiar with XML, it looks pretty complicated. And uh, I struggled for quite a while with this error. Uh, there is no real, there's no obvious way in Acrobat Pro to fix it. So I eventually, I've got the Matterhorn protocol, extracted its metadata, deleted everything in the metadata that didn't look like the PDF UA identifier, saved that to an XMP file, but I'm no expert with XML, so I didn't really know what I was doing. I was very surprised when my results seemed to work, and uh, I used it for a number of uh, files that tested as compliant with PDF UA. So pleased with myself that I posted to the Adobe Acrobat forum and a very kind and knowledgeable person, and this is him, Mr. Robin Schwab in Switzerland, uh, very politely let me know that I had failed to completely define my custom variable. Uh, to this day, I have no idea what that means. Uh, but uh, Herr Schwab repaired the file reposted it. Um, the problem with my file was it did work with documents that were PDF UA, but if they were PDF UA and also PDF A, the uh, archive format, it would break PDF A. Uh, and I, I tried it with a couple of files that were PDF A and it did, it broke it. Uh, so uh, Herr Schwab repaired the file and posted it and it works. And I've used it many times, many other people are using it. And I have to just give credit here to, uh, to Herr Schwab for this solution. So again, in the tagpdf.com uh, 508 PDF Help Center, you can download that snippet of metadata. Uh, you can also download this example PDF with this error. And uh, if you'd like, you can use that to practice uh, fixing the error. In Pack 2, I have the example PDF loaded, so I can click Start. And here's my nemesis, the angry red X. This PDF contains errors, only partially accessible. So I can click Report. I drill down to the error. And I can see that the, it is the PDF UA identifier missing. I can click on that, but it doesn't really tell me anything. This is a... Uh, error that applies to the document itself, not a location in the document. In Adobe Acrobat Pro, I can open the standards pane and I see this message. The PDF you are currently viewing does not identify itself as compliant with any standard. So that, that confirms to me that the PDF UA identifier is missing. Now by adding the PDF UA identifier I'm attesting that my document is PDF UA compliant. So this should be the last remediation step that I do after the document is already otherwise PDF UA compliant. If I were to add the PDF UA ID, 
to a non-compliant document, I would kind of be fitting. So I want to do it as the last step. Now what makes this error so maddening is that there's no obvious way to fix it in Acrobat Pro. I have to first of all have the XMP file that has the required snippet of metadata and then I have to know how to append it. And once I know where to go to do that, it's actually pretty easy. I'm going to go to the File menu, Properties, and I'll click the on the Description tab, the Additional Metadata button. Then over here on the left menu, I'm going to click Advanced. And there, buried deep within Acrobat Pro, I find the well-hidden and poorly documented Append feature. If I click Append, I can select my little XMP file with the required snippet of metadata. Click Open. And OK. OK again. And that should do it. So I'm going to save as a new file name. Just in case I mess something up, I want to be able to backtrack. Back in Pack 2, I can load the remediated file. Click Start. And I get the happy green check mark. This PDF is technically accessible. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. This is Kenny Moore. Please feel free to contact me using the Contact Kenny page at taggedpdf.com. Accessibility is the right thing to do.